Good morning. Today is Thursday in the fourth week of Lent. Our morning prayer begins on page 336. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will proclaim your praise. Each day, O Lord, is a gift of your grace. Your mercies are new every morning. Guide our steps by the light of your word. Shield us from harm and keep us from evil. The night is past and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Father, you hate nothing that you have created, and you forgive the sins of all who repent. Create and make in us a new and contrite heart that we worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our failings may receive from you the source of all mercy, perfect remission, and forgiveness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lo, to thee alone we turn, to thy cross for safety fly. There is penitence to learn how to live and how to die. Sinful and on our knees we fall, hear us as for help we plead. Hear us when on thee we call, aid us in our time of need. In the midst of sin and strife, in the depths of mortal woe, teach us, Lord, to live a life meant for sojourners below. Though the road be oft times dark, though the feet in weakness stray, lead us, Savior, as the ark, let thy chosen on thy way. Weak and weary and alone, when the veil of death we tread, then be all thy mercy shown, then be all thy love displayed. Guard us in, thy dark, in that darksome hour, lead us to the land of rest, where, secure from Satan's power, we may lie upon thy breast. I come to you for protection, O Lord my God. Save me from my persecutors. Rescue me. If you don't, they will maul me like a lion, tearing me to pieces with no one to rescue. O Lord my God, if I have done wrong or am guilty of injustice, if I have betrayed a friend or plundered my enemy without cause, then let my enemy capture me. Let them trample me into the ground and drag my honor in the dust. Arise, O Lord, in anger, stand up against the fury of my enemies. Wake up, my God, and bring justice, gather the nations before you. Rule over them from on high, the Lord judges the nations. Declare me righteous, O Lord, for I am innocent, O Most High, in the, in the evil of those who are wicked, and defend the righteous. For you look deep within the mind and heart, O righteous God. God is my shield saving those whose hearts are true and right. God is an honest judge. He is angry with the wicked every day. If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend the string and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. The wicked conceive evil. They are pregnant with trouble and give birth to lies. They dig a deep pit to trap others and fall into it themselves. The trouble they make for others backfires on them. The violence they plan falls on their own head. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our reading this morning comes from the first book of Kings. At the dedication of the temple, Solomon cried out to Yahweh, saying, Forgive your people who have sinned against you. Forgive all the offenses they have committed against you. Make their captors merciful to them, for they are your people, your special possession, whom you brought up out of the smelting furnaces of Egypt. May your eyes be open to my request and to the request of your people, Israel. May you hear and answer them whenever they cry out to you. For when you brought our ancestors out of Egypt, O sovereign Lord, you told your servant Moses that you had set Israel apart from all the nations of the earth to be your own special possession. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him now while he is still near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the evil ones their thoughts. Let them turn to Yahweh that he may have mercy on them, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says Yahweh, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall down from the heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth, 
causing the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. So it is with my word. I send it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all that I want it to, and it will prosper everywhere I send it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. In the morning we call to you, O Lord, be merciful and hear our prayer. May Christians manifest your mercy and pardon through their love for others. Amen, Lord, let it be. May nations and people work together to ensure the needs of those who are starving in need of shelter and lacking hope. Amen, Lord, let it be. That those preparing for baptism a version of heart and life as they journey through the Lenten season with us. Amen, Lord, let it be. The silence of prayer during the season may help us to discover our voice and compel us to action in the world around us. Amen, Lord, let it be that those who have died may find happiness in you for all eternity. Amen, Lord, let it be. Almighty and everlasting God, in these days of struggle, we intercede on behalf of the people of the world. As we find ourselves in the midst of a global outbreak, we beseech you to send forth a fresh outpouring of the Spirit on all who are struggling, fearful, or anxious. In a particular way, alleviate the pain and suffering of those who are ill. Strengthen those who diligently labor in health care, and preserve peace in all other respects. That united together we may overcome this virus and find a path forward to prevention and good health for all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we boldly pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, your justice turns evil on itself. Move us to examine our hearts and repent of all duplicity, for the sake of Jesus Christ, our judge and righteous Savior. Amen. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. And we have beheld his glory, the glory of the Father's only begotten Son, full of grace and truth. May the glory of the Lord rest upon us, and in his peace may we be blessed. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May God's help remain with us always and with our loved ones both near and far away. May the Lord God order our steps in his ways and our day and his peace. May souls of faithfully departed through the mercies of God rest in peace. Amen. <laughs>